hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima today we are going to start a new series which is my preclinical story and how i was able to get a distinction in my just concluded professional mbvs exam so um it i actually put up a poll asking my youtube family to vote for which other whichever topic that they want me to upload first and this particular series won the vote so that is why you're seeing it today so um let us get on right away so the first thing I'm going to tell you that I did in my preclinical class was that I never allowed things pile up. I studied every single day. I made sure I cover up every single material. You know, th there's this thing that students usually do that they will tell you, oh, I'll read this, this topic and then I'll leave this topic. I never did that, you know. I made sure I studied every single topic that I've been taught because I didn't want a situation where I'll enter exam hall now and in that topic, especially some lecturers are very wicked. When they know that that particular topic is what students do not like, that is what they run to go and set. I didn't want any series that touch and I knew so many people were looking up to me. My parents, most especially, were looking up to me. My siblings were looking up to me. My junior colleagues were looking up to me. So many people were just looking up to me. Some people were actually expecting that I fail so that they would say, yeah, see that girl that has first degree, she too is failing, so who am I? Like, the pressure was so much from everywhere. And some of the people were like, ah, this girl that is doing her second degree, this is her second degree, so she should be passing. So. There was just pressure everywhere. But I myself, I am not a mediocre person. I've always, always had these high standards that even when I write an exam, if you see my, my question paper, you see me scoring myself. And many a times, the score is usually accurate. I tell myself the bitter truth so that I would do better next time. Another motivation that I had was that I don't talk in exam. I don't ask. I don't tell. So when, when you're in a situation where you know if you don't study, you enter exam hall, the only help that you have is the Holy Spirit. I mean, you would certainly give in your best. All these things that students do, formation, this formation, that. I never did it in my preclinicals. I just had that mindset that if I don't know something, let me fail it. And that's a punishment for myself. And it made me to work so hard that when I'm studying, I study with that mindset that, ah, babe, if you enter exam hall, there's nobody to ask. Oh, if you forget anything, it's only Holy Spirit that will help you. And we Holy Spirit remind you of what you not read. What, what? Like, even the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. <laughs> when you expect the Holy Spirit to help you, he will remind you of what you have studied. And when you've not studied at all, but like, it was a particular exam that I was not taught. I did not know it. And the question came out in the exam. I was like, Holy Spirit, please remind me. Holy Spirit, please remind me. And nothing came out. It was after the exam when I tried to do research that I discovered that, ah, the reason why I couldn't remember anything was because I didn't even study the material at all. I wasn't even aware that such a material was released. So you need to study if you want Holy Spirit to help you. This thing is kind of tricky because I've also been in a situation where I was never taught and at the same time the Holy Spirit reminded me or not, let me not say reminded me, the Holy Spirit told me what to write and told me what to say. I, I always like to be on a safer side. So be on a safer side, study, put in your best, study like as if you don't have the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit like as if you've not studied enough. You, you get my point. That's one thing I would say I did. And another thing that I would like to tell you guys about is I made sure that after every single exam, those questions that I wasn't able to answer so well, I checked them out. I have a friend that we used to do this together. Amira, I know you're going to be watching this video. Like ev after every single exam, I don't joke with my question paper. I go back to my lodge, check out those questions that I didn't answer so well. I check the answers. If it's something I was never taught, I check the answer. If it's something I was taught but just couldn't remember, I check the answers. Because many at times, these things, these questions that you were asked in your in courses or you know, in your test, those are things that they may likely ask again in your mock professional exam and your main professional exams. And it's so annoying when you fail something the first time, you fail it again the second time, and then they ask you again, you still fail it. Ha! It's not normal. So that's one thing I did. After every single exam, I sit down with my friend and discuss the answer to all those questions so that if I face it again, I make sure I don't fail it again. Even the OBJ questions, after every exam, me and my friends, we sit down and try to recall some of the MCQ questions and all the o OBJ questions that were asked, especially those ones that we were not able to answer or those ones that we were able to answer. We discuss the answer and you find them repeating many of these M MCQs and OBJ. Even another thing that helped me so was past questions. I got the past questions from my senior colleagues, even from the BSc students, as far back as 2011-2012 session. I answered all those past questions, went into my, my, my 
MBBS Cosmate question, my junior's question, my senior's questions, I answer those questions. Now, when it comes to OBJ, my school does not release OBJ. I don't know about your school, but if you're, if you're lucky enough that you're, you have OBJ pass questions for your school, my God, you are so lucky. In my school, there's nothing like that. As you answer your OBJ and your MCQ question, they, you answer it right in the, in the question paper and they collect it from me. So I was not privileged enough to be able to study with past questions. OBJ and MCQ past questions. So for that one, I have released a dedicated video on MCQs and OBJs. I will post the link up for you guys. So um, I would say past questions. That is another thing that helped me. Then one more thing that I did not joke with was my senior colleagues. Shout out to my senior colleagues like Jane Francis, Timothy, my honorable president, Chidi, Albi. I disturbed the hell out of these people. <laughs> They were always seeing WhatsApp messages from me, <laughs> always asking them, ah, this is so course, what should I do? This is so topic, what should I do? How should I handle this? I, I disturbed my senior colleagues a lot. Like <laughs> so I, I would say they helped too, my senior colleagues. I disturbed my senior colleagues a lot. That is another thing that helped me. And another thing that helped me was that I never allow anything slip past me. If I walk by a group of medical students doing discussion or talking about anything, if I hear them mention a topic or something that I've never heard of, Omo, right there, I Google it. My friends know me for that. My phone is always in my hand. I Google it. I make sure I know it. I don't let any information pass me by. Because getting this distinction is one thing to write and pass, and it's another thing to be able to defend it. You will be faced with a panel, a panel of professors, a panel of all your lecturers. I don't know about how they do it in your school, but in my school, that's how it done, it's done. And when you, you know, manage to do Tumbo Tumbo and luck to be able to pass so far, when you jump distinction vibe at all your luck and your Tumbo Tumbo, it will help you. What will help you at that point? To be your confidence, to be your, your, the knowledge that you have inside. If you don't know it, you don't just know it. It will be what, for those who are spiritual people or those who are religious people like me, to be your relationship with the holy spirit that's where to come into play so if you want to have this distinction you can't hear a, a group of students talking about something that you've not heard of and you walk and pass <laughs> hmm, i laugh for you all right guys if you know how we roll already this video was too long i had to cut it in, into different parts by tomorrow i'm going to upload a part two of this video please sit tight and of course i would always say if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and remember to share this video with your preclinical friends and everyone you think this video would help. Please do not hold this knowledge. Share this knowledge. That is why I'm here so that it would help out others. I remain your girl Jemima. Bye.